We have the new July 1st Lego Houses of the World 3 promotional item. Thank you for the Lego group for sending this in. And in today's video, we will be building this and reviewing it. Now, I know this is the third gift with purchase that we are getting for Houses of the World, uh, which is really exciting. And I know it has a high price point of $250. But in today's video, not only are we going to do a review, I kind of want to think and ponder on the question of, is it worth it to spend $250 to get this? So if you're interested in that, stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's go ahead and enjoy today's video. Something cool about this box is it, it does say limited edition printed around the whole like borderline of this set so that is something really interesting and unique uh unfortunately this has a sticker on mine for not for sale again this was def this was sent from the lego group so that's why that sticker is when you get this from a lego as a gift with purchase you will not have that but uh, anyways the set features some cool really cool features right like it has a modular style build meaning it has like a roof that is removable onto the base floor. It is more of a micro scale build, which we'll see in just a little bit as we do build it. I really do like those logs and whatnot, but the box itself overall just comes in that kind of like plain different shades of blue, something unique. I guess we don't re haven't really seen promotional items come in boxes like this and these like three different blue colors, different shades of blues. So pretty cool. I like that they have kept it consistent across all the houses of the world promos. And I know, I know there's potentially a fourth one, right? Uh, but today we can just focus on the third one well let's do one of my favorite things and of course that is open up the box so from a first eye view this is exactly what you'll see you'll see a bunch of bags and one loose what is this a six by like 12 six by 10 plate so quite a lot here we do get a nice little sticker sheet uh more of the wood elements and uh maybe like a little painting of a picture of a mountain so that's pretty cool you have an instruction booklet that is in the vertical presentation right like a little chapter book Ooh, i'm excited <laughs> we have bag one another bag one another bag one a bigger bag one and then a bag two another bag two and of course the plate that we just talked about and i believe this brick separator just flew out of here maybe i'm wrong uh i actually i don't think it came with a brick separator this might have just been laying around but anyways let's go ahead and flip the camera on do some building and we'll jump really to quick it. i love seeing this in an instruction booklet it labels it like bag one consists of the first floor and then bag two consists of the second floor so kind of similar to the modular line i thought that was definitely worth pointing out but uh standard instruction booklet nothing out of the ordinary parts list at the back uh, but anyways, let's kind of talk through this and finish this build. So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to break this video down in kind of to two different segments. One, I'm going to complete this build and then we'll flip the camera around and show and uh, do a pretty fun review of it. Uh, I am excited just because of how unique these sets are being the micro scale. We don't have a whole ton of micro scale sets from the Lego group, uh, but that's going to be part one of this video. And the second part is going to be is this set worth it? Because uh, I think it's an interesting topic, mainly because if you wanted all rumored four gift with purchases, right? Houses of the Worlds, we've seen one and two come out. You theoretically would have to spend $1,000 to attain all four of these gift with purchases if you were buying it outright from the Lego group. Now that's not to say you don't go and buy these on the aftermarket from uh, websites like eBay or, you know, Macari or other uh, websites like on the reselling platforms or even like Facebook marketplace or whatever. But anyways, I want to know and kind of like ponder on, is it worth it to spend, you know, a thousand dollars if we got this, the traditional way of buying Lego sets and getting these as a traditional gift with purchase. And I think that'll be an interesting way to wrap up today's video. So again, if you're interested, stick around. This should be a fun one. Really quick. I just wanted to say I'm halfway through the build and bag one. And this thing is super detailed. I was not expecting something so small of a like gift with purchase. I don't even know how many pieces there are. I had something so small to be so detailed. So anyways, I'm going to finish building on bag two, but I thought I'd take a small intermission and just say this thing is really cool. As promised, we have a micro scale build. Now it's Houses of the World 3. This thing is so freaking cool. I, I was not expecting to love this so much, but building a micro scale just offered something so complete and unique. So let's actually just take a full on review of this. Set. Like I was saying, it's modularized, if I'm saying that correct. It's basically a modular where it has three different floors, one being the first floor, the second floor and the roof piece. So starting with the first floor, we have our land, which is our green, what is this, our backyard with our lumber, our axe. Again, some of this stuff is minifig scale, like the axe is definitely a minifig scale, right? It fits into a minifig scale, but it gives the purpose, right? And then of course the lumber probably being in minifig scale, uh, but this is the door, this little 
this little door sticker element that's crooked because I don't know how to place a sticker. <laughs> here's your back door. Uh, here's your downspout, your window pieces. Uh, check out like the wood structure on the side. Uh, and then of course, Lego decided to give it a full interior, uh, which I thought was really cool. And it looks like you have a nice little sofa in there, a nice little mirror, or not a mirror, a painting with mountains on it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, you have a fireplace on this side. You have your lumber table. Uh, what was on the side? Something, some cheese left over and a chocolate bar. Those are like mini pig scale. But anyways, I just thought the detail on this was pretty immaculate. So. But to put it, but to put it into scale wise, here's Mickey Mouse on your on your couch. There it is. There's Mickey Mouse on your couch. <laughs> so put it in perspective. A mini fig cannot fit inside of this build. It's just a little bit too tall, especially Mickey with the ears. But anyways, that's not the purpose of this. The purpose is it's a micro scale, meaning, you know, everything's micro scaled down, right? So like if your door piece is that small, obviously a minifig could not fit inside. But anyways, that is the first floor. And then on to the second floor, which will be placed just so simple. Like so, uh, it goes on top, right? Like any other modular building. Uh, but if you flip it around, you place that down. If you flip it around, it also has an interior. And this one has a bed and a workout gym. Pretty cool. And a clock above the bed. Uh, pretty simple interior, but on the outside, it gets a little bit more detailed. You have your wall structure. You have some flowers on the outer uh, exterior. You have your window pieces, which I guess the windows are micro scale, right? Being smaller, it's it's tough to establish a micro scale build, but they really did such a good job with this. Of one. course, we add our roof piece to the top and we have a complete Houses of the World 3 promo. This thing is really cool, well, guys. Once again, guys, this was sent by the Lego group, which was awesome to give us the opportunity to review this for you guys. Uh, so a huge thank you to them, right? Uh, and let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below but this video is not done just yet uh because i did promise we'd take it a little bit farther in depth in today's video uh now essentially i wanted to say you know i have houses of the world one and houses of the world two uh but those promos are sealed right and we purchased those earlier throughout this year uh we got them by spending 250 dollars each so essentially we spent 500 dollars on lego which is quite a high threshold now i opened this one but i would like to get one of these sealed which we are going to do so on our midnight live stream again i am pre-recording this video but we will get one of these sealed because i do want a full collection of all four of these sealed uh now it's unfortunate that i built one of them already because now i want to build a rest and see them all next to each other in like a row of lego modular buildings so i really did enjoy this one but as far as the price points go i do think the 250 dollars is quite expensive right uh this is it's almost so expensive that it's almost worthwhile to pick one of these up in the aftermarket. Now, generally, the rule of thumb is, you know, if you can get it for like $30 to $40, it might be worth it. But if you're spending, you know, $50 to $70, then it's most likely just worth to, you know, buy, spend $250 at, at, at like Lego sets that you really do want and want to build. And then you'll get this free, right? Well, I guess it'll be free. <laughs> There's always a price to pay. Regardless, I know $250 is a very high threshold and I feel you on that one and definitely something I wanna um, give in my review to the Lego group on that one. It's just a hard attainable gift, especially knowing that there's going to be a multitude of these coming out uh the expectation of hey i want to collect all of them i'm a lego collector right uh that's just something to keep in mind and something i do definitely feel one other thing is the stickers <laughs> i don't like stickers but that really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the price point one of my theories on why i want and i think this is such a good buy to pick up and have in your collection is because what if lego decides to continue the micro scale modular line uh and then i feel like a lot of people would really miss out in the first you know three or four of these it would it would be pretty substantial to miss out on these and i know there's nothing a whole like an exclusive mini favor something crazy about the set so that's definitely something to consider you can always part this set out uh meaning you can buy the pieces from bricklink and construct it later on so that's always a thought and uh, an idea to go forward because the instructions are free at the lego group's website but anyways guys thanks so much for sticking all the way through again i'll be picking one up myself sealed not sure what i'll buy exactly to get one but i will be picking one up uh to keep sealed in my collection but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below i'm always encouraging feedback the good the bad the ugly appreciate you guys for watching thanks so much hope you enjoyed today's video if you did let me know and hit that subscribe button guys we're near 25,000. we are going towards our goal anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up hope you have an amazing rest of the day love you guys my name is christo from Stud city we'll see you in the next one peace out